Welcome back to Third Rate Content. Just a quick one today. We're in Borth and we're going to be covering Borth Carnival. So buckle up and I'll see you out here. So today's video was filmed on Friday the 4th of August 2023. And we're going to be watching the parade section of Borth Carnival. Um, Borth Carnival did stop during um, the last three years, the sort of pandemic. And uh, I think last year, 2022, was the first year that it ran again with the floats and street uh, marching. But it's great to see a carnival like this. It really sort of brings together um, communities, often lots of the rural members of the community together for a, for a really nice celebration for the year and festival and it's great to watch as a sort of a tourist and it brings you know money into the local economy obviously yeah, i think that's it samba a go go if i'm not mistaken but well, i could be if anybody watches from any of the groups uh, represented in the street parade section of both carnival please feel free to comment tell us what you think was it a good carnival i know there was uh, some trouble which we will hear about later with the organization financial organized organization of the fourth carnival and natwest bank yeah but it's it's great to see the mushroom people making an appearance along with father christmas and a giant yeah, didn't really do any preparation for today's video, just walked up and filmed it in the true holiday spirit. Though I did hear the theme of this year's carnival was under the sea. I may be mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. I love this dragon, Chinese style dragon. In Borth, amazing. Great to see Santa handing out presents in August. Yeah, this terrible camping pod has got a stove. Never seen one of them before. EC Dub. Yeah, so I suppose Blue Mini, Yellow Submarine, that all fits in with the Under the Sea theme. Keep going, that's it's crazy. The story just never gets old. <laughs> that, wow. Oh, that's lovely. Riley, beautiful car. Yeah, we're just taking a break. There is an actual ambulance uh, having to make its way down on the uh, carnival route. So we, everyone's had to pile off the road temporarily. Hope it all turns out okay.
yeah, the ambulance got through, it was all held very professionally and the parade got back on the way. With the parade over, I thought we'd just have a bit of a walk up Borth High Street and have a look at some of the dress cottages because a section of Borth Carnival was a best dress cottage. I'm not sure who won, but this long boat has put a lot of effort and timber into that one. Yeah, you got the flags there and this one very much in the under the sea theme. I'm not sure who won. The judging was done um, after the parade, which we didn't attend. Um, and I just want to put something right. A viewer did tell me that this was not the site of Borth uh, Town Hall that burnt down. It was formerly the garage, um, which the site has been cleared. And I just wonder if it's going to be built on in future. Friendship, the site of the former Friendship pub. And um, this article on the news from the Cambrian News um, about NatWest shutting Boar Charities account. Um, they were likening it to the Nigel Farage situation. Um, I don't know how like it, it was, but um, that would have put on a lot of strain, I imagine, in the organisation of this year's carnival. I hope the situation is resolved. So that was uh, Borth Carnival, the street uh, parade, done. But thanks for watching to the end. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, please comment. It, uh, I love a good comment and I reply where applicable. So thanks for watching. And I'll, if I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. Third rate content, sign out, bye bye.